Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby, if you didn't know, and now you know, and welcome to the NCA vlog. It is so crazy being here on the other side of things. I cannot believe and I am not mad about it, that I am not walking out performing on the NCAA arena this weekend. It's one of my least favorite venues to compete in because it is just so stressful for no reason. Everything is just, it's so loud and echoey on top. You can't hear anything that's being said and the floor feels so empty and you can't see anyone. And it's just like, I, when you hit, it's phenomenal because the whole crowd roaring is like an insane feeling. But any other time, it is just stressful. So I am like genuinely so happy to just be coaching this weekend. I am so excited to be on this side of things and I'm really looking forward to getting the weekend started. So it is Friday. We made it, finally got into our hotel room. We had to sit in the lobby forever today until our room was ready. But it's now 5.42 and we have a Friday night practice at a gym like kind of far away. We have all of our teams are kind of split up. Some are meeting in the team room. We have a few like just dead mats in there and then some are going to a different gym and then we're going to a gym like 40 minutes away with Yoso, it's LJ and Yoso together. We have a bus that's about to pick us up from the hotel in like 20 minutes and then we're on our way to practice. I am, I know I've said this a few times, I do have really good feelings about this weekend. They've been phenomenal in the gym this week. We did unfortunately have an injury at the very, very, very last minute of our last practice. So we kind of just like, did what we could without having to do a ton of stuff. Luckily, we didn't have to replace her and she is gonna like push through for the weekend. We just took her out of all tumbling and we're hoping, crossing our fingers, that she is healthy enough and feels okay to get through this routine and everything can go well because when I tell you, they've had a phenomenal week of practices. They have basically hit zero every single time in the gym and I, I can just feel the energy. So I don't want anything to like ruin the vibe of the team. I hope she feels okay to push through and they all push through for her. And I'm very genuinely excited for her. The uniforms came out. I've seen very good feedback and no one knows of the surprise that's coming still that I, I feel like I can't talk about it even though this is gonna be coming out way later and like you'll definitely know by now, but guys, I cannot wait to witness the reaction of the NCA arena when LJ reveals their skirt. It is about to literally be like an iconic moment in cheerleading. I just know it's gonna go down in history, but. I still don't have a voice from cheer sport. It hasn't come back even though I have my megaphone. These competitions get so loud that like, I still am losing my voice even with the megaphone. But I wanted to start this vlog now, one, because my room is empty so I feel like I can just talk freely on the camera, but two, to start off the weekend. So let's go pack everything up and let's go meet everyone downstairs and get on the bus. Let's go! Is that the girl from the uh. Is that the girl? Give me a. Do it again. Wait, ready? Oh my god. Is that the girl from the uniform reveal? Yeah! Through this blessing and watch her soul get snapped. Glorious, so glorious. Well, yeah, a little update. I got hurt on Thursday's practice, ankle popped, and now she's fat. Please look. 
Oh shoot, look at that. But it's okay, I'm still competing because there was no way I was not taking a mat this weekend. Good morning, it is now a Saturday, it is day one. Practice ended up honestly going really, really good last night, so I think it set us up on the right foot for the weekend, but it is now pretty early in the morning. It's 8.30, I just got like barely ready, I just kind of threw a few more curls in my hair just so I didn't look crazy, and we we're about to walk over to go watch TJLC compete because they compete in the arena at 9.04 a.m. I could not imagine, but we we're about to go walk over and watch them, and I'm very, I haven't seen the arena yet this year, so I'm very excited to go over there early, get a feel for the arena, see how everything is from the coach's side. This is gonna be so weird and different, and then we have like a huge gap after that, so I think we're just gonna come back here really want to find a nice coffee, get ready, do all of that. So my voice sounds so tired right now. <laughs> I feel pretty well rested. Like I, I got a decent amount of sleep, but I just feel like you can hear it in my voice that it is early. And we are back, just got re-ready for the day. Ended up honestly just hanging out in the coach's hospitality room, which is pretty nice. They had a really fancy coffee bar. Then they brought us some chicken tenders for, to be honest, it was my breakfast. It was like 11 a.m., but I was kind of hungry. So we went for the chicken tenders at 11 a.m. It did the job. That's probably like the only lunch break I'll get now until probably after LJ competes anyway. So probably not a bad thing. That'll hold me over. Just got ready. I'm bringing out the pink leggings again. I don't know how I feel. I think I like it better than just wearing jeans because it's like at least black and pink. Also did the pink under my eye, but something is giving me like, I just look like I have an eye infection. It looked better last weekend. I don't know what the difference is, but I don't really have time to fix it. So we're about to head back over to go watch. I'm sorry, I'm touching my hair so much right now, but I'm trying to like make it look good. But going over to watch, we have UFO, Double O, a few other teams, and then it is time to finally meet with LJ for the day. I just, I'm excited for them. I can't wait to see them and can't wait to get this day started, even though it got started real early, but like actually, actually started for them. So let's head over to the competition. Hey guys, welcome to NCAA day one. So we got our new unis on today. We look so good. How are you feeling? I feel great. You're I'm looking so ready great. to slay my hair, my new Tavi, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling great, guys. Yes. LJ is about to LJ is about to slay. slay. We are ready to hit. We are gonna shut the arena shut down. It down, and we have a surprise. Are <laughs> you ready for this reveal? Ah. Today we have some scissors and LJ just slay. Yeah. Brandy, you look so good in this. Where are all of it? giving. Four, five, six, and seven. Sharp, one and two, and three and four, five and seven. Hey, yo, it's FCA Day 1! Hey, Gabby Vlog! You guys like our new unis are what? Our hair is giving. Period. I love you. You guys want to say hi to Gabby Fuller's vlog? I love Gabby Fuller. Hi, yes, hi, Gabby Fuller. We love Lady Jack. Oh, my gosh. Hey guys, so last time I told you guys um, I was gonna change up my makeup, so I did. Um, I put pink because of the new uniform, so I want you guys to tell me what you think. But the lighting's really bad, so. Okay, I did this. You can't really see, but I did more pink. Comment down below if you like it. Thank you, love you, mwah. Hey guys, love we are in the NCA warm up.
day one. So it bye. Is. I really need to get better about updating you guys as the weekend goes on because I feel like it's just in the night I feel like never ends and then by the time it's the morning I'm like I gotta recap them on everything now because I haven't even touched the camera since before LJ went on I believe so we got a lot of catching up to do so first I wish I could have got a video of the crowd's reaction to the skirt because it was insane. I knew it was going to be good, but like the crowd went wild over the skirt. Everyone loved it. It was almost a success. We had two skirts not turn, but listen, you still get the overall picture of it. And it's just such a moment. I love it. It was amazing to watch in the NCAA arena. Everyone was shocked, but we told you we had a surprise. And now you know why the uniform took a little bit longer than expected because we had to like perfect that whole option we knew from the very beginning that we wanted to do some sort of a skirt reveal so it just took forever hence it was in our music we did the motion in our dance and then it just took a while for the skirt to be perfect functional and just look super cute and oh my god the uniforms looked so good on every single person like it, it was beautiful on the mat off the mat they all looked gorgeous so they had a really good day one we had one building fall but the issue with the score sheet that this year is it's all a numbers game. I've said this before, but unfortunately, the skill that fell was the first skill in our elite, which then caused them to miss the next two skills. And then because of that, we dropped out of our like difficulty range in stuns. So Lady Jags are sitting in fifth right now, but they're only less than a point away from second. Like the scores from second, third, fourth, fifth are all literally like neck and neck. So although they're in fifth, which sounds like Oh my god, like there's no chance coming back of day two. Like literally anything could happen today. I am genuinely like so, so, so proud of them. It was a great day one. I'm very excited for them today to go out for day two now that all the nerves are out and there's really no stress. I'm hoping today is finally their day because technically they hit a zero. Cheers for day two, but it was after the injury and after the like building fall technically. So it didn't count as a zero. So I'm hoping today's finally the day that on the score sheet, they get a zero deduction routine. The vibes are good. They look beautiful. Stress is gone. And I'm hoping today's their day because the skill that fell yesterday is our most consistent group and our most technically perfect hand in hand. So it was just such like a fluke moment. It wasn't like that they don't have the technique or they can't hit it. Like they're literally the best at that skill. So I have full faith in them going into today. And what else do I have to update you on? I don't know. Today I have to get dressed up guys. It's like majors round two. Although my outfit is not as as nice as majors it is 12 36 i'm getting fully ready to head over for double o who they hit beautifully yesterday and their main concern is getting a, pay a paid bid as an international team is so much harder than it should be but they're sitting in a phenomenal place going into i think they have the second highest score of the entire competition and the first highest of an international team so i have full faith in them also today but i definitely need to go be a proud alum and cheer them on so I need to get fully ready by 2.15. So I'm just gonna give myself plenty of time to get ready because I don't wanna have to stress. Here's the finished makeup look. I, I'm not gonna, I think this is the best face makeup I've ever done on me ever. 
I am impressed. This is not my hair, but I just try to get it out of my face. I do think I'm going to do half up, half down though, because I kind of like the look of it. I also got an L and a J earring. I think if my hair is half up, half down, you'll actually see it, so I'll try to wear those. I did pink on my lash line, but I definitely got eyeshadow in my eye, and now this eye is like burning. So I kind of feel like it just looks like my eyes irritated instead of like cute pink waterline. But we're doing pretty good on time. It's 128. I we're leaving here at 215 to head over to watch Double O. So I still got time, but I don't want to be rushed just in case my hair takes a while. So we're gonna keep on with the process. But very happy with this. Here's the final fit. So I really, really, really tried to do half up, half down with my hair, and it was not cooperating whatsoever. So we did the whole like face framing bangs down these front pieces like slick but not slick because I didn't put any product in my hair behind my ear and just like flowing over but you see the LJ earrings at least and here is the fit I would show you in the full length mirror but the lighting is absolutely atrocious because it's overhead lighting and it makes it look a million times worse so this is the best you're gonna get of the outfit maybe I'll try to get an OOTD when I get there but shirt is revolve pants are revolve Justin came in clutch with the shoes. If you know, if you watched the last video, we're wearing the flats all day because I can't do it. My feet are gonna be thanking me. that These are really comfy, not gonna lie. And like, they look kinda cute. I dig it. So, I'm running like two minutes late. So, here we go. I cannot believe I'm dressing up at NCA as a coach. Actually insane. This is, no, this is actually insane. But let's head over to the competition and watch Double O. <laughs> Up next in our level 6 International Open Coed Large Division, we're going to give her top dog, also Double O. Do you guys notice that it looks like a four? Size four. Hey, hey yo, it's a gang hey, hey. It looks so white. Beautiful carpool gang's here. Hey.
Did what's happening back here right now? And I don't know if I like it. You're kind of giving the when like they're in the rain, they're like, it's a little bit rainy outside right now. <laughs> Did you flash the crowd today? I did it. I kicked it down. Hey! Did you keep your zero up no matter what? I kept my thumbs up. No matter what. I, 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 nobody even looked at me. I, kept I couldn't see you. I couldn't see you. I sat way better today, close to the floor, and no one looked at me. Our first award is our Innovative Choreography Award. It's here for the ACE Bombshells. And that's the end of the footage I got, because surprise, I didn't finish filming. But I think this is my favorite competition vlog yet this year. I feel like LJ is just getting more comfortable in front of the camera. So I feel like their personalities like really showed throughout this video. And I feel like it was just honestly so much fun. MTA in general this weekend, I feel like was truly so much fun for the athletes, especially. I only got one little clip backstage before awards, but as you can see, it was chaotic. There was like a whole dance party happening. There was like 10 divisions having the same award ceremony. Way too overcrowded, but they all just had a lot of fun with it. So I feel like it's a memory that the athletes are going to look back on forever so i feel like they had fun and just overall the weekend was a success they ended up in third place so they definitely moved up from day one they didn't technically hit day two although skill wise they did but there was a little tumbling collision in standing tumbling which has like literally never happened before it was such a fluke thing but because of the collision it ended up being a deduction obviously because she couldn't land it but besides that everything they did day two was so good they scored so well finally i feel like the routine is like really just coming together they're getting confident with it and is scoring so well on the score sheet when they hit so i truly can't be any more proud of them than i am for everything they did this weekend nca on this side of things it was pretty fun not gonna lie getting to go to the coach's hospitality room was great the food the snacks the coffee bar they had they had lattes macchiatos like everything to get you through the day it was honestly really fun and then i had the best seats in the house on the coaches bleachers on the side just getting to watch good cheerleading so 10 out of 10 weekend overall on both sides of things but with that being said i am going to end this video because it is definitely long enough so i hope you enjoyed make sure to give it a big like comment down below subscribe to your post notifications on all that and i will see you in the next video Thank you.